Hello everyone, what is going on? Raven here, welcome back. I got a couple little theories about Elsa for you from Frozen 2. Now the first one is just something that I have noticed while watching it with my young son and during this time that I'm recovering from my surgery I told you guys about. The first one is, is that this movie actually should prove that Elsa from Frozen and Rapunzel from Tangled are sisters. And here's why I think that. Because in the movie Tangled, Rapunzel has a little chameleon friend that she takes care of, makes sure is well fed, taken care of, and happy, right? In Frozen 2, Elsa becomes attached to this little lizardy type friend that is like the flame spirit, I believe. And she takes care of it and makes sure it's happy and well fed, nourished. Does that not prove to you guys that they are sisters? Let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below. But the main reason why I wanted to do today's video was the fact that there is a huge theory that reveals a secret power from Elsa. It makes her more powerful than she already is. Elsa's powers cover quite a repertoire, from controlling ice to creating life from it, as in the case of the snowman Olaf. Elsa finally accepts their powers in the first Frozen movie. She grows stronger with the ability to control her powers, and in Frozen 2, she is exploring new levels of powers that she has never experienced before. Now, Frozen 2 focuses more on the origin of Elsa's powers and history of her parents to people and magic in general. She follows a call that only she can hear and ends up on a quest to follow up with her sister Anna, along with Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven. Along the journey, Olaf tells the, that water has memory. This becomes a key part of Elsa discovering her past and the origin of her powers. Throughout the movie, she uses her ice powers to evoke memories from the water, allowing her to see her own and her parents' past and eventually learn that she is a fifth spirit of the enchanted forest. According to a new theory via Reddit, in addition to access quote-unquote time powers, this, this theory is based on the idea that the voice Elsa follows is her own. In Frozen 2, she sees a series of memories that are not her own, including the moment when Hans and Anna meet. She destroys this memory, and according to the theory, this act coincides with how Hans and Anna almost fell into the water in their actual meet cute moment in Frozen. This suggests that Elsa can manipulate past events from the section of the cave but not change time. When she goes deeper into the cave, her magic grows stronger. She sees a memory of her grandfather as he's about to murder the chief of the person North Old Draw, and she immediately reacts as if to stop it. This moment, when she reacts to the memory of her grandfather, is the exact instance that the enchanted forest is sealed shut. Elsa's spirit leaves her body to do this, which is the moment in which she freezes. Her spirit then travels back in time to seal the force, then returns to destroy the dam, and then re-enters her body as her mission to restore peace is fulfilled. The timings of the reactions to the memories do line up and reinforce the theory. Plus, if water has memory, it would make sense that Elsa, as someone with ice magic, could connect these memories that are held in water. Now there's a theory from events in Frozen 3 where she will save her parents using the cave and her time powers. However, what really happened to Elsa when she froze in Frozen 2? Well, she could lose the control of her powers again. Like how she froze Anna in the first Frozen movie, this time she actually froze herself. So does she pass away so her spirit could leave her body to return? Is she different in an odd way, making her the fifth spirit? Was she always meant to be the fifth spirit? Let me know what you guys' thoughts on everything I've mentioned today in the comment section down below. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye!